My name's Nick and welcome to Frontline Arsenal. So today the video is going to be a little bit more informal. Um, I'm going to be going over to my friend's house and weathering some of my soft parts for my ODST cosplay coming up. And I'm hoping to kind of show you techniques and supplies that I use to help achieve that look. To me, I think weathering is one of the most important parts of finishing a cosplay. Armor is a completely different beast, but working with dark fabrics and making it look a little bit more believable, like you just stepped out of that battlefield, can really make or break a cosplay. That being said, stay tuned, and I hope that some of y'all can take away something from this. All right, so I just got to my friend's house. I'm gonna put my base layers on and we're gonna start weathering. So, here we go. All right, so I'm suited up and here's the fit. Before, So these are just some acrylic paints that you can get at your local hobby store. And if you have that luxury, we're just testing some of the paint colors on top of uh, the fabric when we dirty and weathering. Start with this base color, you probably can't see it. We'll start with a base color and then once we got that on there, then we'll do a lighter one just to give it some leveling or layering, give it some added dimension. Awesome. To give that idea, we got these wrinkles, the low spots stay dark. The high spots get a nice white wash. In the dark of night, the stars light up the sky. We see. And one thing that my friend Josh said is you want to do perpendicular um, strokes with the paintbrush rather than vertical because with the perpendicular strokes, you're going to go hit, hit those raised edges and not get in the cracks. And that's what you want. You want to hit the higher edges so it gives a little bit of like a edge highlight. It's actually how stuff really works in real life. No way. So kneel down like this. And then I'll paint where these wrinkles are. Mm -hmm. Then you switch and go like this and I'll paint where those wrinkles are. And then I'll try to get in your, in your, uh, just anywhere there's wrinkles. We want to make wrinkles that will naturally happen so that it doesn't look like someone just painted it on for fun. Okay. Awesome. We're accentuating the natural wrinkles of the uh, the fabric, and what that will do is that will create the illusion of natural wear and tear. And then later, we'll take spray paint, you know, brown, gray, and we'll spray it on there, and that will look like dust that has settled onto the fabric. So this first half, we're literally just dry brushing me. And the next half, we're gonna switch to aerosol cans, like primers and different paints, and maybe even get to oil or gasoline, but we'll see how that goes. We're almost done with the dry brushing phase. My friend Josh is, <laughs> is making me pose in random poses, like I'm holding an invisible rifle, or I'm doing a squat, or I'm crouching, or just kind of flexing, and he's hitting all of those raised edges, and we're going for a really kind of like a dusty, dirty 
dirty look and then it's going to be saturated when um, we put it through the dryer which is one of the most important steps after you're done weathering with any kind of acrylics or paints is you hit it in a heated dryer so it'll permanently set this color and paint so when you do wash uh, these clothes in the future after walking around a con floor and getting all sweaty and gross it won't wash off and ruin all your hard work. One thing to add about that last statement is Sometimes, depending on how the weathering is and what kind of paints you are using, you're gonna wanna hand wash it rather than use a machine. If everyone is not special, maybe you can be what you want to be. To let you let the God to Go ahead. So now we're gonna be using primers and aerosol cans for a light dusting effect after doing a dry rush. So right now I'm cosplaying as a Hellgast. There are some places where you, it's obvious that a brush went by, like right here, and you may not be able to see it there. It's the sun's behind us. But um, what I'm doing with a primer is I'm just going around that, kind of just feather the edges so it doesn't quite look so sharp and pronounced. You don't want to do this too much because the brush didn't get into the cracks, but the spray paint will. So you just got to be really careful. You don't do too much. I'm having him stand downwind of me so that the wind will carry the particles of paint and have it rest naturally so we don't get any hot spots. All right, uh, face the house. And by hot spots, he means massive splotches of just one area, yeah. so it looks like someone held it there. The next color we're gonna use black. Let's put a metal on. So this is what we do with the dry brushing. These two first, and these are just some simple acrylic uh, paints that you can get at a hobby store, Walmart, anywhere pretty much. Cents yeah, 29 cents or something like that. Then we did this as well. Same thing, acrylic paint. You're gonna need uh, just some like brushes to dry brush if you don't mind getting a little bit dirty, but you can clean them out. Then these are the aerosol cans. I mean, the lighter colors really contrast with the dark, like I said. And then this black one is to kind of, uh, is this, it's good to have the same color um, spray paint as your outfit, just to kind of tie everything together if you might've gone overkill in one area. And then good old paper towels, just to kind of dab and uh, brush away any um, buildup in one area. Now we are just setting all of it in the uh, dryer and that's gonna keep everything permanent. Well, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for joining me and big shout to my good friend Josh, <laughs> this is like the fifth time recording this, so that's why he's kind of like, okay, I'm done. But anyway, I hope that y'all took something away from this. There are so many different ways to weather battle fatigue and mess up your soft parts and your fabrics. It's just one of those ways. And maybe in a different video, I'll show you other techniques. But um, I hope y'all have a good one and, you know, like and subscribe and share this video. <laughs> there you go. What's up? Future Nick here. So... I was editing the video and rewatching some of it and I don't really feel like I nailed my points um, or got them really across uh, clearly. And so I want to do a little bit of a recap. Um, like I said, it was informal. It wasn't really a tutorial. So I probably might do a little video later just to kind of show how to, how to weather a little bit better. But I hope that some of you took away stuff from that. Um, I do want to, I guess, say three points. And the first point is 
uh, darker the fabric, lighter the paint, lighter the fabric, darker the paint. Uh, number two, I like to tell a story with my weathering. So for instance, with my Mandalorian, um, he's like a frontline trooper running through the trenches, dirty, grimy, kicking doors down. And then for my ODST, uh, dinged up armor. He fought um, on the ring with Chief and it's just kind of like scratches and dents on his armor and some bullet holes from when he fought insurrectionists beforehand. And then with my newer ODST, um, kind of like shelled out city, concrete, maybe an explosion happened from our Covenant artillery shell and then concrete just showered down. I got dust, as you can see, the dark is colored with a lot of whites and grays um, with a dusty appearance. And the third point I want to come across, or I want to uh, point out is um, you want to not have weathering match all over your armor. You want to kind of have it where your legs and your feet that are closer to the earth are gonna be way more dirtier, way more grimier. And that's where I kind of um, try to explain that. Tell a story, like if you fell in the dirt and you went down on one knee, your left knee's gonna be um, way dirtier, way more, way more scuffed, you know? So those are the three points I have, and I'll probably be making a video in the future, but uh, you guys totally got this. Give it a shot, and um, Follow me on Instagram. I'd love to see and be tagged in some of the posts of your weathering just to kind of see what you guys are working with. So you guys can totally do it. Have a great day. God bless. And till the next video. See ya.